I am Adil Kumar and in this video we will prove the derivative of sin inverse x. The derivative of sin inverse x is equal to 1 over 1 plus x square. Uh, let us write sin tan inverse x as equals to y. Now the inverse function really gives you the angle in radius. Now for tan inverse to be defined y should be between minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 right so so that is where tan inverse is defined so that is to say if you look into your coordinate plane we are talking about coordinate 1 and coordinate 4 right any angle which is in this direction is negative and in this direction is positive so that is minus pi by 2 and this is plus pi by 2 correct so that is the coordinate where this inverse is being defined. Now, if I say that tan inverse x equals to y, it really means that x is equals to tan y. x is equals to tan y or tan y is x, right? So, I could actually show it in the form of a triangle where the angle is y. So let's say, let's make positive triangle coordinate 1 and let us say this angle is y for us tan y is x it means the ratio of these two sides is x x over 1 and that gives you hypotenuse should be square root of 1 plus x square right sum of these two squares square root so that's the triangle which we'll be working with now let's find the derivative now what we have written here is x is equals to tan y. Since tan inverse x, we say let tan inverse x be y. So we can write this as x is tan y. Now if you differentiate both sides with respect to x, what do you get? We get d dx of x equals to d dx of tan y which is 1 equals to derivative of tan y is secant square y times dy dx. Now what is secant? Secant is ratio of hypotenuse to adjacent side, right? So from this triangle, I mean y it is, this angle is y, secant y is equal to one, this square root of 1 plus x square correct that is secant y so replacing this here or we get 1 equals to square root of 1 plus x square whole square right dy dx now if you interchange dy dx is 1 divided by all this right so we get dy dx equals to 1 over square root of 1 plus x square right square root square right so you get this answer whole square this is what it is so that gives you 1 over 1 plus x square correct so dy dx is 1 over 1 plus x square as expected y for us is tan inverse x so I could write this in that form that is to say d dx of tan inverse x since y is equals to tan inverse x equals to 1 over 1 plus x square okay so that is how you can prove i hope that helps i'm anil kumar you can always share and subscribe my videos thank you and all the best